<laughs> good ready good morning guys how is everyone doing today we're going out for breakfast we've never ever gone out for breakfast before as a family I don't think have we unless it's been in the car on the way to a holiday or something like that but we thought oh yeah oh a nice muffin but today we thought we saw Weatherspoons in town yesterday and they do a breakfast option until I think it's about 11 so I thought just before we leave here let's go fill up and have a nice family breakfast together instead of having something in the caravan today so I thought that'd be a nice treat for us all so we're up we're ready and we're out and we're just gonna walk up now I was always like where <laughs> so we're up and out we're gonna take a walk into town and we're gonna go get some breakfast okay guys this looks delicious <laughs> but we're all so hungry that we've already started tucking in so we've got a mixture of scrambled egg on toast toast and then these delicious looking vegetarian full English that breakfast. mushroom is really nice that looks like a good mushroom it as well. is good So right now we're at the Commando Memorial, which is just up here, over there, and it looks out on the Ben Nevis mountain range. Ben Nevis looks completely different from this side. So that is Ben Nevis right there. Definitely looks more like your traditional mountain shape from this side, compared to when you're down in Fort William. It's ridiculously beautiful and this camera is doing it no justice right now whatsoever. My line. <laughs> I'm taking your line, Isabel. <laughs> Should I have to walk 10 minutes of driving? <laughs> because I just put the camera on to say. <laughs> I just put the camera on to turn that noise off, it's so annoying. Thank you. I just put the camera on to say first pit stop of the day, but we've only been driving for literally like seven minutes. We can all get out and stretch our legs and walk for the 10 minutes we've been driving. We're, oh, yeah, Jay shouted, he's excited. It's so cute. He keeps going, I'm excited. Anyway, guys, we've stopped off at the, what is this called? The Ben Nevis Range? Did you say the Ben Nevis Range? No, it looks on the Ben Nevis Range. Yeah, it looks over, the, it looks over Ben Nevis. It's a memorial site and it looks absolutely stunning. And there was a signpost saying, um, there's parking for the area and it looks quite busy. So if it looks busy, you know it's gonna be good. So we've just stopped and oh my gosh, I wish the camera would pick up eye view. So as we see it with our eyes, you guys could see it through the lens. Just never lives up to it though. We just got back to the car, this lovely bus tour here, just offered Jace to go and drive, obviously drive, not really drive, <laughs> their um, massive bus because she was like, wow, massive bus, huge bus, blue bus. And the driver's like, come on then, do you want to come inside and drive it? And he walked forward and he's like, come on, let's go inside. And then Jason turned around and suddenly was like, no, <laughs> ran away. Anyway, for anybody that's interested, that is a World War II memorial site. Um, and also, the view of Ben Nevis from here is giant. So I know we've said, Chris has gone to take another picture. I know I said in, I think it was yesterday's vlog, that Ben Nevis doesn't look that big. It looks like a monster, but it just doesn't look that big to say it's the biggest in the United Kingdom. But from this point of view, where we are right now, oh my gosh, you can, it's totally the biggest. It looks massive. That's lovely, Isabel. Oh, oh. <laughs> I was singing Postman Pat. <laughs> anyway, we 
just saw the most beautiful looking camper van that was obviously a massive minibus that's been converted into a van because Chris has now decided what babe after all the money and work and time that you've spent on the caravan we're switching to a van when we get back we're not yeah. we're not we are me and Chris we're going to do both we're, gonna have we're not having them. both we're not having yes, we both are. we're yes, not we Guys. Yeah, it's more funny because Dad said he spent all this money getting it so the caravan was, um, what was it? Um, yeah, ready to walk. It is, it is right. It's amazing. He is right. It's amazing what we've done to it. It's, but it's made this trip a million times better. But to get to the best places, you need a van. You can't Which we get all to the best said in the beginning. Yep, no, listen, you didn't say all this service in the beginning. No, none of us knew enough. Can you see how beginning. irate with the whole family gets every time we have this conversation? We're, no, we're not. <laughs> we do. It's just, it's just that there's, there's, right, there's caravanning holidays, which is, they are amazing, but van holidays are completely different. So, so you the, choose one or the other, that's what people yeah, we do. Choose, we choose van now. We choose van. No, we, ch we chose the caravan. <laughs> <laughs> we already chose. <laughs> We're doing both, best of both worlds. So Chris keeps going on about buying a van and converting it, and I keep saying he's absolutely insane for even trying to consider that idea because we're a family of seven and we need space. We can do it. He thinks we can just buy, like, a mini little van. No, I don't. And just shove I, seven it, you don't understand. I've explained this to you a million times. It's not a mini van. I get so angry every time we talk. It's a huge <laughs> van that can easily be converted into a seven-berth van. Sleeps, okay? Cool. See you back, please. <laughs> it's so funny. <sighs> I know my dad sat there chuckling like 10 minutes after he's off in the box. <laughs> it's true. Because mum's there. I keep starting pressing record mom's, mom's while everyone's talking. Warm idea, I'm not right. warming to the idea. She said that this morning, mum was like, She is warming. No, I'm not. I know you, woman. I, I you. said that. No, I said. I how many years have I had to talk you into stuff? I know how this works, I know I'll have to grovel for a bit more, but trust me, it's going to happen. You watch and see, guys. You'll be saying, oh, Chris told you so. Yes, I did. Thank you. <laughs> I agree that we, when we last did Scotland in an RV van, it was a lot easier. Space is a bit tighter, but it was a lot easier to, to travel places and to find places to stop. And it was also a lot more comfortable, especially for the girls, because you've got the big table and the, you know, they can spread out and it's just, it, it's cramped in a car when you're sat in doing long, long, long drives like this. But I didn't buy a brand new caravan. And we're not going to ditch you either. We love caravan holiday and that's great, but we want to do van holidays as well, which are completely we, you different. You want to do van holidays as well. No, we all do. No, you we do. do. <laughs> This is this is what Chris keeps doing. He, creep, he keeps telling us what we want. <laughs> he keeps telling us what we want. <laughs> it eventually becomes fact. It becomes reality. I know how to work it. I know how this works. I'll have to grovel a bit more, but trust you'll see us in a van soon enough, guys. In fact, very soon, in fact. I guarantee it. <laughs> so we just had a bit of a hairy, scary moment, guys. I'm not going to lie. We almost turned around and went home. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite home. Not quite home. But to Inverness rather than Ullapool. To Inverness rather than Ullapool. So I'm trying to be quiet because Jace is asleep. But basically, we're not seeing the mountains anymore because we are the mountain. <laughs> oh, there's another hill coming up, babe. We are in the mountain. Oh my gosh. The car sounded like it was about to blow up. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously it's not. We just had, what did we have to have? Like a new engine or something done yeah, before we came. Yeah, yeah. So the car is actually like a brand new car. Like the whole engine's been, that like all the engine and things are all new. So we had all them changed just before we set off. But oh my gosh, this hill that we had to drive up was the steepest climb I've ever driven in a car standard. Never mind pulling that beast on the yeah, back. My, my app told me it was fine as well. Oh. It's fine for a car. It's fine for a towing route. But yeah. Oh my goodness we've, me. We've got an app. That was hairy. We've got an app that tells us the routes we can take with a large caravan. No, the app is wrong. Yeah, I don't think this, I don't think it was alright about that. It was not alright. No, 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 no. And we got to the top and you could smell burning. <laughs> We were like, should we just turn around and just skip out? Well, Chris was like, I think we're going to have to skip out all the pool. I don't know if I'm too scared taking these roads. I was like, well, we're at the top of the flum mount flumping mountain now. The flumping. The flumping. I was going to say blumming and flumming, flipping at the same time. Um, oh, 
that was so terrifying. But it's beautiful now. We're up the but top. now we're at the top. I mean, it's stunning everywhere. It's absolutely gorgeous, and we're not going back the same way. So it's not like we have to come go down and then go back up type thing. So we're still currently on our way to Wollapool. We are. We're going about to an hour to go. We're good. Who knows if we're going to get there? No, we will. We're fine. We're all good. We're, we're explorers right now. We're explorers. We're hitting it up like nobody's done before. Because <laughs> we don't. <laughs> this is not a good idea. <laughs> Welcome to home for the night right now. This is possibly one of the nicest wild camping spots we've ever found, ever. And it's in the middle of the Ben, I'm gonna say this totally wrong, Wyvis National Park. I'm definitely gonna look that up in a minute and realize that I've said that completely. That's one minute, guys. Okay, so I think it's Ben Wyvis National Park. Um, there is some very, very big mountains behind me. Very big mountains with the, the clouds rolling over the top of them, looking amazing. We're surrounded by forest. There's a river over there, very loud one actually. And this is just a lovely little wild camping spot, a parking spot. Like, um, it's a parking spot that goes all the way around, kind of like the first one we had around Loch Lomond. And that first night, it just goes around and there's just areas that you can park if you want to when you're down here. But the road is super, super rural on the way to Ullapool and in the last 40 minutes we've been here, there's only been the two cars that have actually just passed me just now when I've been vlogging. Not a single other car has passed by. And we didn't see any other cars on the road driving down here either, so it's it's super rural. And then the road just kind of backs up into a dead end here, which is where we're packed. It's tucked away behind some bushes on that side. Raw Scottish beauty on this. This is like wild camping spots of dreams. It's gorgeous, it's really out of the way. I feel like we're gonna have a really nice quiet night here tonight. It's also clear right now, so hopefully the stars are gonna be out and we can do a bit of stargazing, which is I'm really, really hoping for. That'll be really nice. Look at this place, oh my goodness. Just the road even just looks so pretty. I'm on the wrong lens to show you this properly, but properly tucked away. It's such a good spot. It's actually awesome. So I'm really glad now that we continued on to Ullapool. We are 30 minutes outside of Ullapool right now. And we thought that because this, it's getting a bit late, it's seven o'clock-ish right now, and because it's getting a bit late, that by the time we get to Wollapool, which is probably gonna be, you know, in about half an hour, 40 minutes, if we don't end up, if, if we struggle basically to find somewhere park for the night, then we might end up driving around for ages. It's just getting a bit too late. So we thought we just, as we were passing by, we actually passed by here, literally just to stop for a minute, just for to get out and have a leg stretch basically. And we're like, whoa, this place is so nice. We're staying here for the night. Because if we end up, getting to Ullapool and not being able to find anywhere to park, that's not going to be great. So uh, so yeah, this is home for the night. It's even got a bin. It's even got an actual set of wheelie bins to put your rubbish in. That is just, that's perfect. What more do we need? So we've got Sarah on with some dinner. concoction for dinner right now. This camera is playing up at the minute. It's like literally showing so dark right now, but it's actually really light out here. I don't know why it's doing that. Just don't want to see my face, clearly. So Sarah's cooking up some nice concoction for dinner. I'm about to get the drone out and have a little explore of this place and see what's above. And then I think we're gonna get some chairs out, or some more chairs out, and we're gonna enjoy some dinner outside tonight because it is a really lovely, lovely evening. And there is not a single midget here in sight. In fact, I haven't seen a single midget actually. Don't, don't even I'm say I'm gonna curse us. I haven't seen a single midget since. There was a couple at that log cabin we were at, a couple on some nights, but mostly I haven't seen any since we were at Loch Lomond. So that's quite a while away now. So we've got inside here these two. What are you girls doing? Clay. I'm helping us make a, a thingy. They're making clays. Yeah. The, the amount of hours a day they spend doing this is actually crazy. In fact, Esme, this is my favourite one you've done. I think I it's it. so oh, yeah, cute. Look at this key ring. Oh no, my earring's stuck to it. Oh. <laughs> it's adorable. I love it. I made a... Uh, yeah, your toast yeah. set's cute as well. Yeah, I love it. And your little spuds. <laughs> I'm making a cup of tea set. So, so far, this the cup was so hot and I was in the car. And the entire time we're in the car, I was making that tiny little thing. That cup. <laughs> that tiny cup. And it, it, it looks terrible. It looks bobbly. It does not. It looks great. It's brilliant. <laughs> well, that's my teacup. And then I'm making some coffee. Cool. 
Um, and I'm making a cup of tea. Brilliant. I'm making and what are you doing, Izzy? I'm making a cup of tea. A sushi platter, but it's going to be quite hard because ah. it's very small. So I'm going you have to, to roll nice. loads of different colours. Wait, is it like rice in the middle and then like black mm. sushi? I mean, a black seaweed around the Yeah, side. but you need to do a filling, so oh, maybe like a bit of red salmon or something. Or and like orange. something like that. Yeah. yeah. And then the other side on our bed. You've got these two. Let's go. Playing with Jace's cars. It's literally the cutest thing ever listening to them play like this. I am not You cannot get me. This is like what? Go. Go. Just before I started making dinner, actually, I was laid on the bed and Jace were all feeling my stomach because um, the baby was kicking and she had hiccups as well and was basically just wriggling around so everyone was having a turn at feeling and I said so to Jace, it was, it was adorable I said to Jace, put your hand here and you'll feel the baby move and he put his hand on and he's going and then as soon as she kicked he went oh, she kicked me! my hand <laughs> and I was like, she did! and then he said your turn now, not my turn no more. And then went to playing with his And then went back to playing with his cats. <laughs> it was so cute. Put it away. <laughs> Put it away. <laughs> He's looking up camper vans, guys. <laughs> He's looking at camper vans. I'm not opening the window because Chris was lying. Don't take it down there and show the girls. Um, Chris was lying. It's Me? very, very buggy outside tonight. But look at this guy. You see, this is what he does, guys. He, he finds something, and I'm like, no. And then he goes and shows the girls, and then the girls are start saying, come on. You said you wanted to buy a van to do up yourself, not an RV. No, I do want a van. I just found it for fun. I do want a van. Found to it for myself. fun. I want to self-build a van. He wants to do it all on his own. Because even this is big. It's, even this is it's too big because we still wouldn't get to the good places of this because it's too big. No, babe. I need space. I'm not buying a tiny van. We'll be a family of seven. <laughs> anyway, guys, we got all the chairs out outside. Sat out there for about three seconds and then the, the swarms came. The swarms of midges. Millions of them. And to be fair, they've not affected me at all on this trip, but Chris is clearly allergic to them because the type of bites that he gets from them is totally different to the bites that me and the girls get. We get like tiny flat red dots and you can feel them nipping, but the, the red dots don't irritate you at all and they go after like 12 hours. But the ones that Chris gets like swell right up and itch horrendously and so we had to come back in which is a shame. I've just introduced Jace tonight to Fireman Sam because he's currently obsessed with fire engines and he's literally been sat here for so long watching episodes of Fireman Sam which is so cute. One of you guys also sent him a Postman Pat DVD so he's been watching Postman Pat in the car and I thought Fireman Sam he'd love that and you are aren't you? Why are you sticking your glasses up your nose? <laughs> Why are you doing that? You don't know. <laughs> anyway guys, we're going to end it here. We're only about 20 minutes from Ullapool, right? There's a midget on me. I think we're only about 20. This is too busy down there showing them RV vans. Look at the faces. <laughs> you get like a queen bed. Deary me. That's way too, that's it's, stupid. It's mega. Yeah, even the girls are saying it is very nice. It's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, but not, no, but no. You, you get a five grand self-build yeah, van, <laughs> or no, not a 50 grand van. No, I didn't say you can. No, she did, she no just, what did you do? She said it on camera. She said it on camera. She just said I can have a van. It's you done. tricked me into it. We're not, guys. No, we're not. I'm happy in my we caravan. Are. We're not. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you back here tomorrow at 5 p.m. Good night, guys. Bye.